Hey YouTubers, Diecast Collectors. It's January 3rd, 2014. This is the J Man 63. Speaking of three, this is part number three of the three part saga of my 164 scale Christmas Diecast haul. Yep, I said it once, I'll say it before. I got quite a lot of diecast for Christmas. And I just want to jump on right into it. So let's get started with the Archie series. Ah, this is these were cool. I like these. And I think uh, Betty and Veronica aren't too bad looking. Pretty easy on the eyes for cartoon chicks. Be honest. Yeah, which team are you on? Team Betty or Team Veronica? Which one do you think is hotter? <laughs> but uh, yeah, pretty cool car. Sweet streets. I like it metal on metal definitely a heavy heavy casting and I do like that for once they did not use the bread box pretty cool nice piece another another cool one is the uh, Ford Bronco I did pick up all six of these at the same time but I probably could have waited until after Christmas because these haven't been too hot they haven't been flying off the pegs like I thought they would at least not like the Universal Monsters series did, or the uh, there's some of the other stuff. The uh, superhero series flew fast, and a lot of people snapped those up. But these pretty much haven't gone that fast as I thought they would. But at least they didn't recycle castings in this set. Like I said, another car is Jughead La Truica. I think it's pretty cool that they use something besides a uh, the Chevy truck. I know it's pretty much a uh, I think it is pretty much a Chevy truck. I'm not sure. Uh, I can't tell. I'm not sure. It might be. I don't know what it is. It's just called La Truica though. So pretty interesting. I like the fact that the Hot Wheels is embossed on the tailgate. Pretty cool. Very nice. Not gonna spend too long on each piece. I need to hurry up with this video. Uh, yeah. oh, this is my favorite out of the card art because uh, I like the way uh, Betty and Veronica are dressed in that particular card art. Hmm. Very interesting. So uh, yeah, like I said, which team are you on, huh? Which one do you like? Tell me which one you like in the comments below. What do you like, Betty or Veronica? I think they're both kind of hot. <laughs> so, um, yeah, very cool. 1940 Ford Coupe. Definitely my favorite out of uh, all the card arts, but uh, definitely a cool car. I don't know if it's my favorite car, but uh, definitely cool. Like I said, another car I got is this uh, Chevy Blazer 1970. Very cool. It has Reggie on it, but uh, I don't think it exactly matches the uh, background art. I guess it kind of does, but there's not, Reggie's not on here, so I'm not so sure. Hmm, weird. Another cool one is the super van. Well, I don't know about the super van because that's been showing up too much in the castings, and I quite frankly am getting tired of Hot Wheels reusing this over and over again. But, eh, what can you do? But, pretty cool piece. I guess it's got the girls on there again with Archie. Again, another piece. And uh, we'll move on now to some everyone's favorite cool classics. <sighs> My mom's friend Michelle gave me some money that I used to buy certain buy buy certain cars, and thanks to her, like I said, thanks to my parents and everyone else who got got me the stuff they got me. Thank you so much, everyone. Like I said, 1957 Chrysler 300. Very cool. Spectra Frost Blue with Flames. Definitely cool. Okay, so next piece. 64 Impala. 
This definitely has kind of that low rider look because it's kind of jacked up in the back. I guess either you could call it a low rider or a dragster or something. But it definitely has that look to it. No paints on the tail lights as usual. Kind of wish they'd done that, but oh well. <coughs> Duster, thruster, and the Chevelle SS Express. These two definitely would be uh, candidates for a drag race together. Definitely cool root beer brown paint on the Chevelle. Flames. Definitely got a cool paint job on it. Very cool looking. Definitely pretty sweet car. Duster Thruster. Again, another pro street looking car. Definitely with the pipes in the side. I don't know if the Chevelle had pipes. I think it just had uh, stock pipes. This one has the straight drag racing pipes on it. Pretty cool. Another car I got, I think I used the money to buy this that my mom's friend gave me. It is the Dixie Challenger. Definitely a cool piece. It's got sponsor decals that are authentic, so like I said, pretty cool piece. Another piece I got is the 68 Hemi Barracuda. Definitely like that reddish paint with the stripes. Very cool and wild looking. Definitely a sweet looking piece. Alright, so let's move on to green lights. I got a whole bunch of green lights that I'm going to show you guys. I got about had about 12 minutes left of this video. First car I got was the 74 Dodge Monaco. Definitely a cool piece. Painted headlights. Taillights are done too on this. Very nice car. Definitely cool. Again, Black Bandit Chrysler 300. <coughs> 63. 300K. I am not feeling great. I'm under the weather. As I said before, I have had bron have bronchitis and trying to get over it. Nice front end, very cool looking. Definitely an interesting looking grill. Very cool. Love it. Let's move on to the other Black Bandits. I got some county road cars that I'll show you guys in a minute. But anyway, 68 Dodge. Cornet 65, sorry, Dodge Cornet 500. And definitely a cool piece again. Front grill. I think the Chrysler 300K had a more elaborate front grill, but this one's kind of squarish. <coughs> Chrysler definitely had more elaborate looking front end to it. This one's a 65. I don't know what the Cornet was. I think it's a, yeah, 63. Chrysler 300K, the Cornette's from 65. Interesting. Another car is the uh, 2008 Champ car. This one's got the Black Bandit decals all around. It's got BB on the spoiler. Quite a few graphics on this car. Interesting piece. Okay, that was that one. A lot of cars, like I said. Gotta hurry up with this video. Muscle car out of the county roads. This was the uh, 67 Chevy Impala SS427. Very nice piece. Um, front and rear. Very nice. Tail deck. Tail tampos. Front end tampos. Very nice car. <sighs> the next couple of cars is the uh, 72 Chevy Cheyenne. This one's very nice. Markers are painted. Rear's painted. Front's painted. All the stuff you expect to see on a $6 collectible. Like I said, I wish they would include opening doors for that much, but... Yeah, that's M2 Machines territory, but I still wish they would have opening doors on their cars. Oh well. What are you going to do? 72 Trail Duster. Yeah, I know. People think Duster... Hey, it's a duster. Well, this isn't the muscle car. This is an SUV. 
I think the Duster was from 1970, but people don't think of an SUV when they think of a Duster. So, pretty interesting piece, actually. Front headlights are tampoed. It's got a... Uh, <coughs> got a spare tire in the rear and the spare tire matches the uh, wheels so pretty cool all right so moving on I did get a couple of green, green light muscle cars oh uh, wow the packaging on there. green light muscle 78 Chevy Corvette custom Unfortunately, the packaging here is a little cracked. I might have to put something on there to help it, or I might have to crack it open. I don't know if I'll do it, though. I don't want to crack this open because I like it too much in the package. The GTX will definitely not get cracked, but this packaging isn't in the best shape. I might have to take it back. Oh, well. But still pretty cool, 1970. 78 Vet Custom, pretty cool, blue and white, or aqua and turquoise or whatever, pretty cool piece. Another cool one is the uh, 1968 Plymouth GTX Hemi with the card, I think this is like the actual car or something, I'm not exactly sure, it's got a gas pump with it, and there's the car right there. Pretty nice piece. Definitely reminiscent of old Johnny Lightnings. <clears throat> Alright, so moving on. I got the uh, Apollo 13. And this is Ken's Stingray. Really like this car. Very nice front end. Nice tampos all around. Very nice gold color. I like the look of this. Nice taillights. They're definitely different than that Corvette Custom. There's a lot of different uh, stuff on here and another Corvette I got was this one this is a Otter Chevy Corvette from Animal House Toga Toga very cool definitely a neat looking piece um, I do have this in the diorama version I didn't have it in the blister carded version so definitely glad to pick this one up because I think it uh, I think I deserved it the I mean not I deserved I mean I think the car I'm getting tripping over my words I think the car deserved a few places in my collection not just the diorama but the carded version so the car deserved its place in my collection two times so very cool another car I got was from two lane blacktop this is GTO's Pontiac GTO hmm it's an interesting name for someone. I guess it must be a street racing name. <coughs> Very cool. <clears throat> you can never go fast enough. There's a lot of information. I mean, you can. Pull. I can't really see it. So, there's a lot of interesting stuff. I think it's a good movie. Again, another car I got. I was glad to pick it up. My dad got this for me. My dad actually, I forgot to mention my dad in this video, but he got me this Zoolander car, and I think he got me two of the County Roads cars, the uh, Trail Duster and that Impala. So thank you, Dad, for the green lights. So I did get this Zoolander car, the Bronco. That's a pretty cool piece. Very nice headlight, tampos, rear deck, rear tailgate tampos. Very nice truck. Um, I did wish to find more of these. I did want the uh, Bewitched car. The uh, I'm trying to think what else I wanted. I wanted the Bewitched car and the Supernatural Impala sports sedan. However, did not find them. Unfortunately, wish I had, but I'll try and find them eventually. Maybe I'll go to another Toys R Us when I go up to my trip for my trip to Richmond this weekend. So hopefully I'll find them then. And there were more cars from this series, if, in case everyone wants to know. I didn't want the truck from Dallas, because I'm not really a big fan of the show Dallas. Um, 
I didn't want the CSI car, and I think there was a third, I think there was another CSI, it was a police car or something out of this series. Didn't really want those three, but I definitely want the Supernatural car and the Bewitched car, so I'll be on the lookout for those. But for right now, that is my haul. And, as I said before, guys, this, uh, thankfully, was under 18 minutes, so let's keep it that way. So... For the best diecast hauls and diecast cars, stay tuned to my channel. And for everything diecast, it has to be the J Man 63. Check out my channel, rate, comment, like, subscribe. Subscribe's down below. You know what to do. Anyway, see you guys later. And I hope you have a merry you have had a Merry Christmas and that is all. This is the final third part, and it is all done, thankfully. I will probably have an update on my room to go, and I'll, that's why I said I'll probably do an update on my room. I'll show that once I get all this stuff hung back up. So anyway, guys, see you later. I hope you uh, had a good Christmas, and um, goodbye, guys.